I had only been married two years. Will and I were going on a dream vacation to Hawaii. We were supposed to leave, catch a plane, seven o'clock Saturday morning, and on Friday, while he's at work, I pass out at our house. So I went to um, the emergency room and discovered I had two masks, one on each ovary, and um, I got a referral to an oncologist. But we did go to Hawaii. I always considered myself very, very healthy. For the past 15 years, my routine has been getting up at 4.30 or 5 in the morning and going to the gym. I was moving into the third term of serving as a county commissioner for Clayton County, Georgia, and um, just enjoying life, serving the people. So I was really very healthy, never had any other medical problems until this diagnosis. In January of this year, I had recurrent cancer. It's really wild because this time, it wasn't all that fear. I know I'm gonna make it. So it's different this time, but the very first time, very, very scary. I remember one day, just before I went in the hospital, I had my assistant to come over to the house and bring a witness that I made out my will and everything else. And so it was scary, very. Well, that, that day that uh, she had her surgery, um, I thought it was just gonna be a routine surgery just to remove the mass off of her ovaries and, and that be it. It went according to plan. You know, it didn't take very long. The, they, they said it wouldn't take very long. And uh, when the doctor came out and she said that uh, she found something, my, my world stopped. I didn't know what to think. And being a police officer, uh, I thought to myself, I was gonna have to face my wife and, and try to keep a straight face and I had to be supportive. And but that, was, that part was easy. No one likes to hear the C word. My family's been very, very supportive and just told me that you just do your chemo, be encouraged, you're gonna get over this, you're gonna make it. And I tell this story about one of my, my sister's husband and he called me on my first day of chemo and said, Sona, you gotta start using your cancer card. If um, Willie comes home one day and says, the house is not clean, said, Willie, I got cancer. We make jokes about it because I believe a whole part of this journey is the laughter and how you think about it. She's the, the strongest woman that I've ever been around. She's, she, everybody loves her. It's not easy. I hate that she has to even go through any of this. I know that there's a higher being and he's not ready for me to go. The last time I went to see my doctor, uh, my CA-125, I think that's the most important number to ovarian cancer survivors or patients. I think it was 10, but she wants it in the single digits. So I've since had a chemo since that treatment. So I'm kind of anxious now for my next appointment. And I do have one more treatment to go. Prayerfully, you won't have ovarian cancer, but make your doctor rule it out. Make them rule it out. That's the key.